Construction work on Africa's largest seawater desalination plant is well on track in Morocco, according to a recent statement by a Moroccan government official. The Duira Seawater Desalination Plant project, which has a $310 million budget and a treatment capacity of roughly 75 million cubic meters of desalinated water per year, is located in the southern coastal city of Agadir, a major city and capital of the region of Sous Massa, with a population of more than 450,000 people. The plant is expected to produce nearly 275,000 cubic meters of desalinated water daily before reaching its maximum capacity of 450,000 cubic meters per day. The project comes at a time when Morocco's water reservoirs are facing major shortages as a result of a decrease in the national average dam filling rate, which has been declining since September 2019. In a report by World Resources Institute, Morocco is among 33 countries to face extremely high water stress by 2040. According to the report, the country needs to build a more efficient and resilient water management system to face the sure-to-come climate change threats. In view of this, Morocco has detailed a number of projects to address future water scarcity, the most important of which is the construction of the Duira Seawater Desalination Station, which will cost an estimated $310 million. It will process about 75 million cubic meters of water per year and offer drinking and irrigation water to the residents of the Chtauka 8 Baja region. According to Morocco's Minister of Transport and Logistics, Abdelkader Amara, the set of projects adds to Morocco's launch of five dams and completed construction of six dams in 2020 and the programming of five additional dams in 2021. Meanwhile, 14 other dams are currently under construction in various regions across the country. Morocco in recent years has built several water desalination projects across the country to address freshwater scarcity. Water is very essential for all living beings and covers nearly 70% of Earth's surface. Even though the major portion of Earth is covered by water, there is severe shortage of drinking water in most of the countries across the world. Safe drinking water is vital for all forms of life, though it does not provide any calories. Desalination of sea water appears as a solution for this problem. Advanced desalination technologies that are applied to seawater and brackish water prove to be effective alternatives in a variety of situations. Desalination process involves the removal of excess salts and minerals from water or the chemical process of changing seawater into potable water. Presently, the two major technologies that are mainly used for desalination are the thermal desalination and membrane desalination technology. Membrane desalination uses high pressure from motor pumps to separate permeates water from brackish water or seawater based on membrane, while thermal desalination uses heat to vaporize permeate water. Spanish company Abengoa designed the membrane desalination plant in Agadir and are also in charge of construction, which is expected to be in operation by the end of this year. The 275,000 cubic meter per day desalination plant will be the largest plant designed for the combined use of drinking water and irrigation when completed. Abengo is a Spanish firm that specializes in the deployment of new technology solutions for energy and environmental sustainability. Abengoa has devised a strategy plan to address supply issues in many parts of the world, primarily those affected by water projects. This is especially common in North Africa. The Duira Seawater Desalination Project is part of the company's long-term strategy. Abengoa has been operating in Morocco since 1977, with operations in Rabat and Casablanca. Abengoa has worked on a number of significant projects in the region, including the world's first integrated solar combined cycle plant, which is located near Ain Bini Mather. In January last year, Morocco unveiled a multi-billion strategy to ease water stress across the country. The 2020-2027 National Drinking Water Supply and Irrigation Program launched by King Mohammed VI include 
the construction of dams, irrigation systems, improving the delivery of drinking water to rural areas, the treatment and reuse of wastewater, awareness raising to reduce demand and the preservation of water resources across the country. Among these strategic plan of the country is the construction of the Duira Seawater Desalination Project, which will offer drinking water for the people of Tauka 8 Baja region. It will also irrigate 15,000 hectares of land, since the farmers of this region have also chipped in to finance the construction of the station. The project will also promote the desire towards exploring sustainable energy in Africa through its operation on wind power. In another development, Morocco's National Office of Electricity and Drinking Water ONE, is building on its commitment to develop the country's southern provinces by attempting to solve the water scarcity issue in Tarfaya and Layoun. A new desalination plant, planned to begin operations by the end of June this year, is intended to provide safe drinking water to Layoun's 230,000 residents and surrounding communities until 2040. Extreme weather conditions are the primary difficulty ONEE faces in southern Morocco as it tries to alleviate the region's water challenges. Climate change is one of the major challenges to Morocco's development plan. If you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from a definitive information about trends and mega constructions projects in Africa, subscribe to the New Africa channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos.